feed store, small animal exhibits. One <laughs> second. Wait a second. First place, second place, and all these awards. This is so sweet. Like, look at all the cages. Honestly, beautiful. Do you bite? That is a real ostrich egg. Look at the size of it. Oh, look at that one with oh, the ears. That See that duck right there? Look at the What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. That is how I call all the pigs out to eat. Hi, Lulu. Mama gets the first bite, everyone. Come on, you should know that by now. All right, there we go. Eat up, Lady May. And a little scoop. Usually, this is just an extra feeding. I feed them in those bowls right there. Did you guys just so happen to see what was that? What was that thing? We got some new animals. That'll be a video coming up very shortly on the channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Today we're going to an auction. I've never been to one of these, but there's a South Florida fair here and they do auctions, animal auctions. So right after the sponsor of this video, we will get started and go check out the animal auction. Stay tuned. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand that is now disrupting the beard market. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you know I'm a massive fan of Manscaped products. They're trimmers, they're hygiene, formulations and even their premium boxers but finally manscaped is now introducing a beard trimming and styling routine introducing the beard hedger pro kit the packaging is so nice the beard hedger trimmer has a powerful 7200 rpm motor and a titanium coated t blade that can cut through the thickest of hair in a single stroke now whether you prefer a five o'clock shadow or a lion's mane you can choose from 20 different hair cutting lengths with a zoom wheel that uses only one guard this beard trimmer is waterproof cordless and rechargeable so you can literally shave in the shower, save time, and create less of a mess. Now finally, you can have a designated trimmer for your face, the beard hedger, and also a designated trimmer for the lawnmower 4.0. So stop double dipping, it's gross. Manscaped also created dermatologist tested beard care products to help you grow and nourish your magnificent beard. Their beard oil is infused with sweet almond, sunflower seed, and jojoba seed oil. Then you can cleanse your beard with the beard shampoo, which is cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate free, dye free, and vegan. And then nourish your beard with the beard conditioner, infused with coconut oil and vitamin E. And once that's all said and done, you style your beard with the beard ball. Fresh blend of eucalyptus, rosemary, in lavender essential oils. Just imagine how that smells. Now the Beard Hedger Pro Kit includes the Beard Hedger, Beard Shampoo, Beard Conditioner, Beard Oil, Beard Balm, even the travel case, and even little free gifts like Beard Scissors, Beard Comb, and a Beard Brush. Now just simply go down the link in the description down below, manscaped.com slash Paul, that is gonna get you 20% off and free international shipping, and you'll get all this right here. That is 20% off using manscaped.com slash Paul, the link is down below, click it. Thank you so much Manscaped for sponsoring today's video, and of course, for keeping me fresh. We're at the South Florida Fair. I don't know if they have animals here anymore, but we're gonna give it a shot. What if we were in the woods, and that just came up? All that you gotta do is outrun your friend. Yes. <laughs> he knows exactly what to up. do. <laughs> Kick him in the knee and off you go. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Take off. <laughs> Thank you for the advice, sir. We go in 24 hour challenge <laughs> and that comes up to us, you're toast. You would do that to me? I would kick yes. them knees. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd hope we'd just run together, just yeah, out. Yeah, right. Nope. No fish. Oh. How the heck are they gonna have a water feature like this with no fish in it? Right? That's actually sick. Look at the water coming off the rock. Maybe the fish got eaten by birds. So apparently the fair just opened like 10 minutes ago. That's why there's literally no one here, but it smells so good. I don't know where the animals are. We're on the hunt. Funnel cakes. Ah, I can't, I can't eat that, dude. Feed store, small animal exhibits. Wait a second, wait a second. We're gonna go in here and then in there. It smells like cow. It smells good though, it smells like hay, clean hay. You know, unfortunately, we are very early. Like, we're so early that I don't even think the cattle are awake yet. Daily cow milking, 6 p.m. They're raking up cow poop right now. Let's go across to the exhibits where we both see some animals. So we were just at the cow milking section. Now, this is where the cows are prior to going to the milking and show and all that. Right in here. Look at them. Hey, buddies. These ones are tied up eating food because she's cleaning out the enclosure. Bro, how cool. Look at the milkers on that thing. 
Holy son of a what How much would you drink freshly squeezed milk for? Out of that? Yep. Like how much it would cost like me? Like right out the nipple. Right out the nip. Yep. It's warm. It's hot. Five grand. <laughs> yeah, five thousand bucks. <laughs> all right. That's all right. We got a little baby cow. Oh, dude. Look how tiny. That is the cutest thing on earth. I used to have cows at the old farm. We had more land. They're on like 500 acres with a bunch of other cows now. Having cows is really fun. I never did it for the milk or anything. I just did it because cows are dope. So stinking cute. You hear that? That was a rooster. Dude, these are some hoss chickens. Oh, duh. dude, this is sick. All right, so we made it to the auction site where they do sell chickens and stuff. And there's actually some silkies, the same exact chicken we just had hatch in one of our recent videos. We got big hens over here. These are what we like. Look at all this. Hey chickens, are you guys all sleeping yet? A long night. Look at, dude, this is the ones we hatched. Look, that's literally them. That's so sick. And there's more over here. And they have like South Florida's, you know, first place, second place, and all these awards. Look at the sheer girth on some of these chickens, bro. Look at that. Look at the size of you. Honestly, beautiful. Do you bite? Oh, he's a nice little rooster. All I know is, man, some of these chickens are the most thick, big old freaking chickens. Look at that hen. Hey, buddy. Oh, you like your belly rubbed, huh? Look at this one. That's a beautiful chicken right there. All jet black, little furry feet. He won an award. He's the best bantam cock. Look at the colors on this. Chickens are honestly so underrated. <laughs> They're so cool. Dude. <laughs> oh, that is so sick. Look at this guy. He's what like, he heck? just left Hawaii. He's like, woohoo! Get cool, dude. This is so sweet. Like, look at all the cages. Now, I don't think these ones are for sale. It looks like they already had, like, the auctions and some of them were sold. Naked neck. Naked neck. We have one of those at the house. It's a massive one. Dude, that one's fired <laughs> up. Obviously, enough chickens, lots of chickens, but over here, there's ducks. Look at them. Look at that tiny. You just love animals. They're yeah, so man. awesome. They're sick. And I'm assuming this is where you would uh, straight up box these c**ks in this room. Just Whoa. straight going ham. Look, there's even a seating area for someone that wants to watch you wrestle a, a rooster. What do we got over here? Bunny rabbits. They have these little pads that the bunnies could sit on. That way their feet aren't on the cage. Look how cute. Oh, I like him. Bro, he's so cute. What's up, buddy? Hi, buddy. Hey, little buddy. He's so soft. He's so soft. Wow. Look at the coat on that bunny. It looks like a pillow. Look at the little tail. Oh, look at that one with oh, the ears. He's got oh, the floppy ears. He's cute. Oh, hey, no, no, Bubba. Really. Hey, Bubba. Second place. He came in second place. Oh, wow. Oh, little buddy. Hi. Dude, why is this making me want a bunny rabbit? I think it's like people's uh, prize winners. Like these are people's winning yeah. winning animals. You ever seen uh, what a horse looks like in a skeleton? That's that. That is a real ostrich egg. Look at the size of it. It's massive. Bunch of little chicks running around. What real emu eggs? They're black. They're literally black. That is sweet. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your help. Appreciate it. Hey Dave, do we put a couple names down? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I agree. This is not a live auction right now. You put your name on a piece of paper with the name of the owner of the birds that are over there. And whatever ones we want, we'll put down. And then, you know, if eventually they hit me back up, if not, they don't. And then put uh, your name and telephone number, how to reach you. Gotcha, okay. Dude, you are loud, bro. I honestly kind of want that at the crib. This is just for the neighbor that gets code enforcement on me. Strictly why I'm buying this one. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. Third place winner right there. Same with this one. There's no way they get rid of him. Nope. No, no there's no way. <laughs> Second place winner right here. I love looking at chickens. I never knew chickens were so amusing. So we put a couple names down, right? Yeah. We got a couple. One more? Yeah. See that duck right there? That one is beautiful. So this same person has all these ducks, and they live in locks. PC Farm 1.0 was over there. Welsh Harlequin. That's that one right back there. 
Beautiful duck. We'll write the name down for that one. Unfortunately, my phone number is on that, so we can't show that on YouTube. But for the most part, you get the gist of it. We wrote our name down on a couple of the chickens, a couple of these ducks. We just fingers crossed and hope that they're willing to sell. If not, we had a fun time here at the fair and that was awesome, an experience. And next time we'll go to the live auction. If you wanna see that, smash the like button. That fair had everything. It even had pig races. My Kun Kun's sleeping right now, but it had Kun Kun pig races. I've never seen anything like it, the Kun Kun race. <laughs> You need to participate in the next Kun Kun race. You would smoke him. No, actually you would. Look at him, look at him run. Come on, you're gonna tell me he won't win? He would win all day. <laughs> so unfortunately, no one has called me back just yet. I'm still waiting on some random numbers to call. Fingers crossed everyone in the comments down below. We put our name in for some really cool chickens and some really cool ducks. Who knows what will happen, but the next time I can assure you that I will be at the live auction. And in the meantime, I'm gonna look and see if there's any more going on that we can join in. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I will see you right back here in the next one. Peace.